Hello, guys. So, welcome to our Hello. channel, uh, Speak English with uh, Vest and Val. So, uh, as you know, from today we are starting with uh, short mini lectures on different uh, important aspects of grammar and vocabulary in English. And this week we will talk about present simple. So, uh, yes. So, uh, okay, while I have the presentation, while I have the presentation, please feel free to uh, write your answers or any kind of comments that you might have. So, okay, great. So today and, uh, we'll share with uh, you our presentation, our PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so present simple. Present simple. So when do we use present simple? We use present simple in uh, different cases, but so I'll cover uh, the most important them. Important, important, the most important of them. The first time we use present simple when we talk about repeated actions in the present. For example, every day, every morning, every weekend, twice a day, three times a year, and all those words from always to never. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. All these words that say how often we do something. So here we have provided a couple of examples. For example, Mary goes to the gym three times a week. Three times a week, it means how often she goes to the gym. And the second um, sentence is John never gets up before nine o'clock. So this is the, uh, we use present simple when you want to talk about regularly repeated actions in the present. We also use present simple when we want to talk about permanent situations, something that happened in the past that is still going on and most likely will continue in the future. For example, Tom works for IBM. This is his job. It's not just now, it's not for this month. This is what he does in general, as long as uh, a job can be a permanent thing. Okay, the next the next example is Dane teaches German. This is what she does. This is her job. It's also not something temporary. So this is a permanent situation. So in addition to these two main uses of uh, uh, present simple, we use present simple when we want to express general truths. These are things that usually happen like that it could be in nature in our lives. For example, the sun rises in the east. It's a general truth. It rose in the east yesterday, today, and it will continue rising in the east. So it's something that is usually like that, or always in this case. Next one is honey bees live in colonies. This is also a general truth. One more case when you use present simple, this is with state verbs. State verbs, some people also call them stative verbs or even static verbs. These are verbs that are not action verbs. Action verbs would be something like, for example, jump, run, eat, work. While static verbs, these are verbs that we use to express feelings, emotions, um, senses. For example, also uh, when we want to describe something, to talk about the characteristics of something. For example, we can say, hmm, this soup so, uh, this soup smells great, or you look great. All this right now, we use present simple because these verbs are state verbs. Uh, the examples we have provided here, so a lot of teenagers love video games. Even could be talking about the moment right now, in the present time, we still use love because it's a state verb, so we rarely use it in continuous. Sometimes we can, but it's not common. And also when you want to say, for example, I want chocolate, all this right now, we say I want, not I'm wanting. So yes, usually present simple with state verb. Some verbs in some cases can be state verbs, in some cases they can be action verbs. For example, we can say, oh, what do you think about this book? When I ask, what do you think about this book? This means that I ask you for your opinion. But if I see that, you're looking something and obviously you're thinking of something that I can say, what are you thinking about? In this case, we can use present continuous, but in general with state verbs, we use present simple. So feelings, emotions, senses. Also in this category, we have um, the verbs like seem and appear. Also in this category, we have the possessive uh, verbs like have, own, belong, possess. 
have only one possessed. For example, we say, I have a car, but I'm having a car. But when have, for example, is in some um, kind of expressions, for example, in, for example, have breakfast, have lunch, have dinner, in those cases, we can use, for example, present continuous because this have doesn't mean possession. It means something else. Like, for example, I'm having breakfast now, or I'm having lunch, I'm having a shower. Okay, so this is about the time, the ways what, with the cases in which you use present simple. Uh, present simple is a very easy tense to form. Uh, there is only one important thing to remember that in the third person singular, he, she, it, we put S. For example, I work, you work, he, she, it works. We work, you work, they work. The only thing is we shouldn't, for, we shouldn't uh, forget to put S when we talk about he, she, it. For example, uh, Mary lives in Paris, but they live in Paris. Mary lives in Paris, but her parents live in London. So we have to put S with he, she, it. Okay. There's also something interesting about the spelling rules when we use uh, present simple. When you have a regular verb like work, we only put S. Work, we turn into works. But for example, when the verb ends with S, S or SH, SH these kind of sounds, we, we add ES at the end, not just S for pronunciation reasons. For example, dress, dresses, wash, washes, watch, watches, whiz, whizzes, etc. So when we have these letters at the end, we put ES for pronunciation reasons. Also, when we have verbs like go and do, we put again ES. For example, go becomes goes, do becomes does. Another interesting and important thing when we have present simple is when the verb ends in Y, but when we, before the Y, we have a consonant like cry, cries. Y in this case turns into I, and then we add ES. Cry, cries, study, studies, because before the Y, we have a consonant. If we don't have a consonant, let's say, for example, if we have a vowel, like in play, in that case, it will be play, place. We only add S at the end. So these are only like spelling, spelling rules. Uh, next one, how we negate present simple. We negate present simple uh, with don't and doesn't. Actually, every tense in English has an auxiliary verb. This is the, the auxiliary verb is a verb that helps us to make very often uh, negations and to make questions. In present simple, the auxiliary verb is do. In its form, do and does. So with do and does, we make uh, the negative forms. For example, I don't work, you don't work, he, she, it doesn't work. Again, here we have this S. It's only for he, she, it. And then we don't work, you don't work, they don't work. So after don't and doesn't, we put the verb in its infinitive form without to, in its pure form. And for example, in the positive sentence, we say he, she, it works. But when we make a negative sentence, the S disappears from works and it goes in doesn't. So we cannot say he, she, it doesn't works. It should be he, she, it doesn't work. So these are the rules when we use present simple, also how we spell with some of the spelling uh, uh, specificities, uh, specificities and also how we negate this sense. So this is uh, from us about present simple. Next time we'll talk about how we make questions in present simple, how we make yes and no questions. And also we will talk about how we make Special questions, for example, who, where, when, how much, how many, what kind, what type, what sort. So actually, this is a very brief overview from us on present simple. So now I'm opening the floor if you have any questions or any comments. And I see Chikuru wants to say something. Please go ahead, Chikuru. Thank you so much. Uh, I just 
uh, like very well the presentation is very nice uh, what i would just suggest maybe would be about the third person of singular as you said especially for uh, for the simple present where we have to just pronounce the different the s in different ways uh, let's say for example uh, like tits this is one then when you pronounce this will be like a teach it s but when we take relaxes it becomes yeah. is but when we take goes it becomes z the sound z and is and s this would be maybe important for just uh, some kinds of pronunciation about the third person singular thank you so much no thank you so much this thank is a you. very very useful very useful comment yes i didn't think much about this to be honest this presentation was done in like five minutes so i really didn't think about the, all, all the aspects but it's good that's why i'm with such uh, a knowledgeable community so that you can also add your comments and we can have even better and more informative uh presentation to the rest of the world okay thank you so much siddharth what would you like to say siddharth Yes, are I audible? Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you, ladies. You are looking very beautiful with your uh, different hairdos. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Siddharth. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, one thing I want to say, uh, you know, uh, work like work and works. When you break down work, it goes to do plus work, work, and does plus work, works. So. We, if we put it in a simple way, it is it works like that. It's my <laughs> yes. It's you my mean you mean you mean in cases when we say he does work, he oh, does work. Yes. That, but that does oh. is something different. It's again present simple. You're correct. But in those cases we say he does work, we want to emphasize that means he really works. Or for example, if you say, mm. "Oh, do you know those people?" Oh, yeah, I do know them. That means I really I know yeah. them very well. Yes, so in those cases, we use, we, we use do and does to emphasize. Actually, and so this is, yeah, yes, yeah, but, yeah. but thank you so much. Yes, it's, it's totally correct to say he does. Or for example, if I say, oh, does he work or is he unemployed? Oh, he does work. He has two jobs. Yeah, thank you so much. Really good comment. Welcome. Okay, thank anything you. else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you. Thank you so much, both Chikuru and Sidar. Those are really good comments. Thank you so much, because uh, I'm sure other people would ask about those too. Uh, and this was really our first, first presentation. It was totally improvised, but we wanted to create some meaning and some content in our session. And we also wanted to provide you some, some, uh, some more uh, depth and uh, some kind of discussion. But we'll continue with this. Next time we'll talk about questions, because I don't know how it's in your countries. But in Bulgaria, I have noticed a lot of people really struggle with how to make questions. And once you understand how to make yeah. questions in present simple, it becomes much easier uh, how to make questions in other tenses in English. And later on, of course, you talk about much more complicated things like wishes, conditionals, uh, passives. But for now, with this week, we'll start something with something easy and something nice. So thank you so much for your support, guys. It was really real pleasure. And I'm just, uh, we have a couple of more minutes if you want to say anything else, or any comments, any questions, any suggestions. No? <laughs> okay. Nothing? Okay, guys. Uh, okay, we, we can probably finish because uh, next, next week you'll be busy week and you can, ah, Chikur. okay, go ahead. Yeah, I was to ask, you said that it will be posted, I think. It will be posted and we'll just have the link from the YouTube. Then we can watch our audio or our video. I don't know whether you can just highlight about it. Ah, yes, you're going to post from now on. Every presentation will be posted on YouTube. And you, if you can subscribe there so you can see all the videos. And from now on, we'll do the new, video. the, the new videos. You have some old videos, but from now on, whenever we have a presentation, you're trying to post all the presentations because I hope that they will be meaningful and people can learn something. So this is the idea. Okay, so we will we'll post, we'll post the link once uh, Val is, because Val, Val probably will need to a little bit edit the video. So when it's ready, she will post uh, the new video in the group and then you all can subscribe. So once you subscribe to YouTube, you can get and see our new videos. And please feel free to invite also your friends. And you know, we're just learning. It's only the beginning, but we're, hope, we're hoping to get better and better. So thank you so much for your support. And uh, it has thank been great. You.
Thank you so much, guys. And we Thank hope to you. see you. We hope to see you on Sunday. We'll talk about questions and we'll continue with our uh, weekly topics too. So thank you guys so much for the great session. We'll see you. Yeah. See you on Sunday. See you. see you guys. See you see you on Sunday. Have a nice evening. Bye bye.